Right now, the storm has certainly calmed down here in Moraine. In fact, you probably don't even need the umbrella. Just some light sprinkles out here. As you take a look at the flagpole here, you can see that the wind has died down. And there are still some occasional light that has moved on to the east. Of course, those areas in its path, they could still be in some danger. So that's why you need to be careful out there. And nature certainly put on a light show for us overnight across the Miami Valley. And we caught some of those striking performances on camera in Troy. And while the bolts can look beautiful, they can have some ugly consequences. Just check out the fire here by this transformer that was likely sparked by lightning. And that strike left some people in the dark here in Clayton, including the Walmart. In some cases, stoplights are out, like those at the intersections of State Route 49 and Hoke Road and Hoke Road and Smith Drive. Dayton Power and Light crews are out trying to repair some of the damage. We're told about 790 people are without power. And the wind isn't helping matters much either with that storm because when you are in that storm, you'll feel those gusts pushing your car around this morning. So that's certainly something to watch out for if you are still in the storm's path. Although here, as you can see in Moraine, it seems like we've caught a bit of a break. Again, only the occasional lightning flashes. Other than that, you don't really even need the umbrella. The rain has pretty much stopped and the wind has also died down but this may be just the first round there certainly could be more on the way so again just kind of keep an eye on the television this morning stay with us keep an eye on that radar and make sure that things are going to be clear before you head out this morning reporting live jordan burgess two news on your side